今天弥撒的一唱是为徐颖、吴佳妍、华美天主堂筹款活动中心、郑景婷、陈景托、李李领健、欧李佳。不信主的先生和两个儿子，杨、孟、美、英、安东尼一的一项祈祷。Today we welcome the two groups: the Father Tommy Katinayit group and my group, the humble servants, and to celebrate this holy mass. Let us start. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you, with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the Wednesday of the sixth week of of Easter. In order for us to celebrate well this holy mass, let us first remind ourselves of our many failures, many sinfulness. Let us ask God for pardon and mercy. Let us say together. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. To Lord our God, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me: Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at His coming with all the saints, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul's escort took him as far as Athens, and went back with him, instruction for Silas and Timothy, to join Paul as soon as they could. Paul stood before the whole council of the Areopagus and made this speech: "Men of Athens, I see for myself how extremely scrupulous you are in all religious matters." Because I noticed, as I saw around admiring your sacred monuments, that you had an altar inscribed to an unknown god. Well, the god whom I proclaim is in fact, and one whom you already worship without knowing it. Since the god who has made the world and everything in it is himself, Lord of heaven and earth, he does not make it his home. In shrines made by human hands, nor is he depend, dependent on anything that human hands can do for him, since he can never be in need of anything. On the contrary, it is he who gives everything, including life and breath, to everyone. For one single stock has not only created the whole human race. So that they could occupy the entire earth, but he decreed 
how long each nation should flourish and what he, the boundaries of his territory should be. And he did this so that all nations might seek the deity and be feeling their way toward him, succeed in finding him. Yet, in fact, he is not far from any of us, since it is in him that we live and move and exist, as indeed some of your own writers have said, we are all his children. Since we are the children of God, we have no excuse for thinking that the deity looks like anything in gold, silver, or stone that has been carved and designed by man. God overlooked that sort of things when men were igno ignorant, but now he's telling everyone everywhere that they must repent because he has fixed a day when the whole world will be judged and judged in righteousness. And he has appointed a man to be the judge. And God has publicly proved this by raising this man from the dead. At this mention of rising from the dead, some of them burst out laughing. Others said, we would like to hear you talk about this again. After that, Paul left them. But there were some who, atta who attached themselves to him and became believers. Among them, Dionysus, the Aerospectra, and a woman called Damaris, and others besides. After this, Paul left Athens and went into Corinth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, response to your song, you glory fills all heaven and earth. You glory fills the all heaven and earth. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praising all his angels, praising all his host. Your glory fills all the heaven and earth. O earth kings and peoples, earth principles, prince and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Your glory fills all heaven and earth. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Your glory fills all the heaven and earth. He exalts and restrains all his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Your glory fills all heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. With Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but they would be too much for you now. But when the Spirit of truth comes, he will lead you to the complete truth, since he will not be speaking us from himself, but will say only what he has learned, and he will tell you of the things to come. He will glorify me, since all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. Everything the Father has is mine. That is why I said all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Because illumin illumination to us is a process uh, that requires a lot of patience, uh, requires a lot of trust and faith. Today, St. Paul was the teaching the, uh, the Greeks people about the true God. And then St. Paul tried to bring them from the darkness to light, to sinfulness to holiness, from ignorance to awareness and understanding, for the worldly wisdom that they proclaim they know, to the divine wisdom revealed by our Lord Jesus Christ, from unbelief to belief, from what is temporary to eternal, from what is limited to unlimited, and partial to total. The true wisdom, the true illumination come from God. So we need to rely on God, on the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. As we say, this is the gradual progress in this patient phase, in this um, <clears throat> humility, willingness, docility, and openness. That's what we are, we need assistance from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit def definitely will come to us as um, the, our Savior needs to go to the heaven in order uh, to, send, to send the Holy Spirit to us. Hopefully, we ask God today to have that patience, to have that faith, to have that humility, our willingness to wait, to fulfill God's will, our openness and docility to celebrate our faith. May God bless us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pray the Lord. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by the worthy way of life. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all time to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this time, above all, to lo you yet more gloriously, grant Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people that so in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had a worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ when we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and the Bishop of this place, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, with the blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you 
throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, but this is our those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Blessing Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each one of you and remain forever. Amen. This Mass has ended. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wish you a blessed day.